All right, hi, welcome back. It is Wednesday, and this is Work in Progress Wednesday, which is a semi-regular series where I open up my DAW and we take a look at one of my ongoing projects. So today we're going to be putting some finishing touches on a track that we took a look at a few weeks ago, with the finishing touches being mostly where is this track going to start and stop. You know, if you're writing a normal song, um, you will start the song and end the song as you please, based on the genre and style. If it's programmatic music, like for a cutscene, you're going to have designated cues as to when the song starts and when the song stops. And in this case, the track is meant for a gameplay within a video game, and therefore it needs to be written with infinite iterations in mind. Basically, it needs to loop for hours and hours and hours if necessary. You know, as nice as it would be for the song to end on a lovely cadence, like Unfortunately, that opportunity is not being afforded to us, so we'll need to make other plans. So in this case, the song is starting off um, with this droney kind of synth. It goes for a few measures before the kick comes in. That's all well and good, although I think we'll probably have to cut some of that out in order for it to loop nicely. And for the ending part, so after the solo, which we looked at a few episodes ago, I wanted to go into this kind of empty space where there's just going to be mostly percussion. It's going to sound like this. So that percussive part's going to go for a few measures um, before it loops back to the beginning. And in preparation to revert back to the beginning, um, I've added in some noise, which is going to help it have a more natural flow. So it's going to have this noise on top of the drums. Just a couple layers of synths with um, a white noise riser in there. So with everything else, it'll sound like this. And that's where we're going to loop. So let's take a look at how that would be if it loops as it stands now. Yeah, so just as I thought, it's not a super smooth transition. What we're going to do actually is cut those first few measures out and we'll start the track when the kick comes in, which should be here. So let's try that again, see how it sounds. Yeah, I think that will work much better. Okay, so what we're going to do in order to prepare the track for the next steps is we're going to bounce everything down uh, with a relatively long tail, and then we're going to manipulate the WAV file itself rather than the MIDI data that we have here. So let's bounce it down now, and then we'll take a quick look together. Okay, so now that we've bounced everything down, we're going to open up another program, in this case Audacity, and there's a number of ways that we can do this. Um, in this case, I'm going to do it this way with Audacity just because I find it easiest. So what we're going to do is take our file, drop it in, duplicate it, and then we're going to nudge this along until we can find a nice spot to loop it. A little bit closer. A little bit more. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just cut this tail off and paste it in at the beginning of the track. Maybe we'll turn it down just slightly and then we'll see how that sounds.
Cool, so what this tells me is that this is going to work quite well once we have the final WAV file, which will get implemented into the game engine, and there won't be any unnecessary hissing or popping every time the track loops around. So I'm quite happy with the way that worked out. So now we can add the remainder of the final touches to this track, and then that'll be it. All right, guys, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you in the next one.